Alrighty folks, uh, welcome to next uh, part of our Panzer project. So as we know now we've been kind of working on some of the kind of nice touch up bits on the car like um, putting in uh, xenon headlamps, LED side lights and all kinds of stuff like that and uh, we'll have some more of that uh, stuff coming along fairly soon. And we will also be looking at uh, connecting up the fast charging but in the meantime um, I just want to uh, run you guys through where we're at on the drivetrain and actually seek a little bit of advice from you because uh, I know there's some people out there that have given me some really useful advice on the, uh, the whole Panzer project so right now the car is driving um, it is fully road legal and uh, driving very very well um, but here's the catch I'm only probably using about 50% of the power uh, that I have available and the reason for that uh, is that the last time that I wound the power up a bit I ended up wrecking the gearbox uh, so if you haven't seen the video uh, about direct gearbox. I'll put a link in the description to that uh, But this is the victim here um, That we remove from the car and in the meantime uh, since then uh, I've been looking at what other gearbox options that I could find uh, locally um, in order to enable me to retrofit one of them and then be able to bring the car up to full power. So this gearbox here um, would have came out of a 1999 um, E39 520i petrol. Uh, so two litre, six cylinder, uh, straight six straight six uh, petrol engine this is a five-speed uh, gearbox made by G-Trag and uh, this is the actual fail one you kind of hear the various grinding in there um, so what I had to do just to get the car back on the road as quickly as I could as I explained in the, the gearbox video was I just sourced another one the exact same and, ju and just did a one for one swap but in the meantime um, I've been looking at what other choices that I may have and uh, these two here are so far uh, what I have been able to uh, locate and both of these gearboxes um, actually uh, came to me through viewers on YouTube uh, you both know who you are and, th and uh, thank you very much indeed so the one in the middle is a ZF gearbox um, came from a 02 E46 uh, 320 diesel um, and just looking at them physically uh, there, there is like quite a difference uh, between the um, the petrol and the diesel model, um, even though they're both strictly speaking the same engine displacements. So this gearbox is just a lot more beefy. There's a lot more going going on here. Um, I'm not honestly sure if this is a six speed. I suspect it's a five speed. Uh, but I think, uh, I'm not sure, but I know it's a, Z a ZF box. I'll see if I can get the part number from that and check it out. Um, and lastly here in front of me is another ZF. Um, this came from a 2000... <coughs> Excuse me. This came from a 2006... Uh, E60 520D so a 2 litre diesel again um, but this one is again a physically larger gearbox uh, and I know for a fact that this is a 6 speed um, now with our electric drive um, there 
is no real advantage for us in uh, a five speed versus a six speed um, because we don't need that last sixth gear to get the revs way back down for more efficient cruising in fact the motor tends to be more efficient at higher rpms than look then lower so basically this is it guys um these are my two choices at the minute uh i've got this one here just for comparison's sake this is going to be going to the recyclers uh very soon now because it's basically scrap i was going to do a, te a tear down video take it apart and um yeah just see what actually broke in it but you know what do we really care What's it going to tell us? Probably not a whole lot. I might just take the shifter um, knuckle off the end of it uh, before I put it on the scrap pile. So these are the two gearboxes. Um, I'll give you guys a close-up view of them. And uh, just really want to see what your op opinions are. Alrighty, let's have a closer look at our gearboxes. So... On the right, 520 petrol, uh, would have been a six cylinder, uh, and it's a G-Trag box. Uh, this is the actual broken one. So, lots of nasty clanking sounds. Um, it's also physically the smaller of the three gear boxes here. Uh, fortunately, all the bell housing patterns are the exact same so I have no adapter plate uh, problems we do have different splines on the um, input shafts so we will have to use a new coupler but as you can see I have clutch friction plates uh, for the two possible candidates um, so that's pretty much just getting a new coupler made up uh, looking in from the top, um, we can see even that this is the smallest gearbox this way. This one's wider, and this one's probably the same. And lengthwise, again, this is the shortest, medium, longest. Um, as I say, this is a six-speed. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. I'm going to have to find that out, and I know that that one is a five-speed. So then, finally... Uh, looking around the back, <clears throat> uh, we'll see that our current gearbox has the smaller output uh, flange, whereas our two perspectives uh, have the much larger um, donuts on there. And the other difference is on the shifter linkages. Um, current one has the single. Uh, knuckle with the kind of two prongs here or sorry the single prong he here and our perspectives have this more bigger um, version here and the twin prongs um, on both sides so that's kind of where we're at with the gearboxes guys so uh, yeah kind of any advice most welcome all right you folks so you've seen uh the choices here um anyone has any uh feedback for me please leave a comment um in the uh vi video he here um i'm also now posting on instagram at evbmw you see photographs and short or updates there that don't quite make it to video so please do have a look at that if you're uh, keen to follow some of the uh, things that go on in between videos. Um, so that's about it. Thanks a lot for tuning in uh, and we'll see you all next time.